My life had to change and it has drastically. So anybody else would be, you know, kind of freaking out. And I'm like, I'm really loving the moments of uncomfortableness when I'm like, I have these moments where I'm like, should I be doing more? <gasps> no. I oh yeah, that so. reminds you you don't need to be doing more, I'm right? Like, no, yeah, it's not important. Is, yeah, yeah, so I'm like, I feel like if I'm gonna go to like the next dimension, this is kind of that place where I'm really working on kind of the next level stuff, like the spiritual and the kind of transformational stuff. So. And I'll did you and your mom kind of help each other through everything? Obviously you would anyway because you're mother daughter, but you had something so terrible in common. I know that story would be like beautiful, <laughs> but no. No, that's um, like a real answer. I yeah, <laughs> because my mom, you know, with brain cancer and you know, Anthony, you know, because you do so much work with brain tumors, it's it's a whole other thing. Like my mom had surgery, she had radiation, she had chemo. Yeah. <clears throat> there's a lot of things that go on in the brain after that. So there's a lot of inflammation, a lot of cognitive deficits. So part of the treatments that I gave my mom is I put her on marijuana. Mm -hmm. So I kind of joke sometimes that she was too high to help me. <laughs> but she actually doesn't even remember my surgery. Seriously? Yeah, she doesn't remember Wait, anything. how far after her surgery was your surgery? Eight months. Okay, so. So she was just freshly dosing on marijuana from maybe two months prior, a month and a half prior. And she just, you know, between the cognitive deficits, the radiation, inflammation, the marijuana, she doesn't remember anything. And she recently told me, how bad she feels because she doesn't remember any of it. But to me, yeah. that was another silver lining. Because yeah, she didn't get to say, feel that. Right. Imagine someone who has cancer, the last thing they need is stress. Mm -hmm. And so. a, a child, no matter how old they are, being sick is the most stress you could ever put on a mom yeah. or a parent. So it's better off, maybe. Yeah. Rocky's quote gets me through so much. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Yeah, how much that. you can take. Do you know Sylvester Stallone? I do. He's a dear friend. And when I came out of surgery, that was the first thing I said. I started quoting Rocky. So going into surgery, I was playing Rocky music as my theme song. And when I came out, I could barely speak and I started quoting it. So I sent it to him. It happened to be his birthday. I said, if you didn't know how much your words meant to me before, it's the first thing I uttered when I woke up from massive brain surgery. 